You want to get a minimap mod in Minecraft 1.20.6? Let's go ahead and do it using Xero's minimap. It's going to give you a minimap that looks like this on screen, and you can change it to be square, to be circle, and kind of customize it in a lot of different ways once you get in game. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Xero's minimap. Once you're here, though, go ahead and click on download Xero's minimap. Go to the official Xero's minimap download page. On this page, you want to click on files here, and you want to find the 1.20.6 fabric version. So as you can can see here this is 1.20.6 and it's fabric we can click the three dots next to it and click download and xero's minimap will begin downloading after a few seconds while it's downloading have us from our company simple game hosting go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server for you and your friends at simple game hosting you can easily add mods to your server like xero's minimap as well as any other mods you want plus if you want to play a mod pack there's hundreds of mod packs with one click installation making it super easy to set your server up with those as well plus if you want to have plugins or customize your server in any way you can do that it's your server and you can customize it any way that you want on top of all that if you have any issues along the way there's expert live chat support there to help you out so go check out some game hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your minecraft server the simple way nevertheless xero's minimap is now done downloading and there's two more things we need one is the fabric mod loader itself and here it is here's our in-depth guide it's linked in the description down below obviously and once you're here go ahead and scroll down and click download fabric to be taken to the official fabric download page. Here you want to click on this download universal jar, this kind of little link here. And the reason you're doing that is if you install Fabric using the jar file, it's going to allow you to install other Minecraft mods more easily in the future. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. Now, one more thing that we're also going to need to download is the Fabric API. This is an API mod from the developers of Fabric that mods like Xero's Minimap need to work. So if we click download here from the link in the description down below on our website, it will take you to the official download page of the Fabric API. Click on files, and then you want to find that 1.20.6 version here. Click the three dots and click download, and the download will begin after a few seconds. Again, you may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. But with that, all of the files we need are downloaded. So we can go ahead and minimize our browser and move them to our desktop just because it's easier to manage all these files there. So as you can see here, we have the Fabric API, the Fabric Installer, and Xero's Minimap. Select and drag and drop them to our desktop. Now to get started, we're going to be using the Fabric Installer. Not the Fabric API, the Fabric Installer file. Go ahead and right click on this, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't, I don't have Java here. Or if you do have Java here, you click OK and it doesn't work. Well, in that case, what you need to do is go to the description down below and get Java, specifically Java 21 for Minecraft because Java 21 is now required for Minecraft 1.20.6 mods to work. So you want to make sure that you come here and get Java 21 from the link in the description down below. Just click download and then get it for the Windows platform and then click next to installer. From there it installs like any other program plus this uh, this guide here walks you through installing it. So that's great as well. But nevertheless you may also need to run the jar fix after getting Java. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java making them work happily together. Nevertheless at this point we can now go ahead right click on the fabric installer, click on open with, click Java, and click OK to open up the Fabric Installer here. What we then want to do is click on 1.20.6, make sure that's selected next to Minecraft version, make sure Create Profile does have a check next to it, and click Install. Now it's going to install Fabric into Minecraft for us, and the only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open, both of those need to be closed, or if you haven't played Minecraft 1.20.6 before. If that's the case, just open it up to the main menu, vanilla, no mods on it or anything like that, close out of it, and then Fabric will be able to install. Now we go ahead and click OK, and it will close out of that, and we can close out of the Fabric Installer as well. Now we can delete the Fabric Installer because we don't need it. Next, we need to install Xero's Minimap and the Fabric API. To do this, we want to open up Minecraft, but don't play Minecraft. From the Minecraft Launcher here, what we want to do is click on Installations at the top. When we click on this Installations tab at the top, we'll see we have this Fabric Loader 1.20.6. If you don't have that, make sure Modded's checked under Versions in the top right. As you can see, if I uncheck that, it's not there. But as soon as I check it, there it is, Fabric Loader 1.20.6. If you still don't have this or you don't have the correct version, let's say this was 1.19 or something like that, or even 1.20.5 or .4, that's not the right version, we can click new installations here. You can name it anything you want, but I'm gonna name it simplegamehosting.com because it's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click the version dropdown box here and select release fabric loader 1.20.6. Then we can change our resolution if you need to, 
But the most important part is that under version, we have release fabric loader 1.20.6 selected. Click create, but do not play Minecraft. Now to install these mods, specifically Xero's minimap, but alongside that, the fabric API, what we want to do is hover over the fabric installation, either the one that we created or the one that was there by default, and click the folder icon that appears. That's going to open up your Minecraft folder. In here, you should have a mods folder, but if you don't, like I don't have a mods folder, just right click and create a new folder, and then type in mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, and then open your mods folder. Now drag and drop Xero's minimap and the fabric API into your mods folder here, and we can close out of the mods folder. Now play Minecraft using your fabric installation, and then when you do that, you will be in game, and guess what? Xero's minimap will be working. So here we are, Minecraft is open, and in game, what we can do is actually go into multiplayer or single player. Xero's minimap works on multiplayer servers, so that of course means that I'm going to be using a simple game hosting server to test this on, but this will work in single player and on even public servers like Hypixel and things like that. Be sure to check the server's rules though. Some servers don't allow minimaps because for different reasons of being able to find bases and things like that. But as you can see here, we join on in and by default, it's going to take a second to load in. One of the things that's really, really cool about Xero's minimap is the fact that it loads a ton in the minimap distance. I mean, this entire island here can actually be seen in the minimap. Now you can actually change your minimap settings by hitting Y on your keyboard and there is tons of different stuff here. As you can see, you can turn it on and off. You can change the position to anywhere that you want on your screen. You can go into the view settings and how much it's zoomed in in caves and zoomed in generally. I like to actually zoom it in quite a bit here to like 3x at least to be able to see things a, a little bit more crisp. And you can change the different, you know, like shapes of the minimap in view settings as well to circle or square. So many customizations. There are also waypoints. To access your waypoints, what you'll do is click Y and then go to waypoints. You can add waypoints here. So this is going to be our spawn village. So go ahead and add that in here with the name spawn village if i can type spawn village and then we will change this to gold when we confirm we will be able to see on our mini map it's there but also in game it's there and this will go through blocks and stuff like that so you can see this from a really really far ways away and uh, yeah you can turn these on and off so if we go back into our waypoints here we can disable this by clicking disable and it will no longer show up in game and then like hey you're lost you need to bring it back you can go and re-enable it but there you have it that is a quick overview of Xero's minimap if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below and enjoy your minimap mod for minecraft 1.20.6 we'll see you in the next video i am out peace